Well, you know how high your SDG&E bills got last year. Brace yourself because they are expected to go up again. CBSA's Shannon Handy spoke one on one with one of the power company's executives and asked him to explain. SDG&E told me their costs are going up and they admit they're going to pass them on to you. The executive I spoke with says he realizes San Diegans will be upset, but he wants everyone to know now so they can prepare. We made a commitment that last year to make sure that, uh, you know, customers aren't surprised. Scott Kreider is SDG&E's Senior Vice President of External Operations and Support. Following last year's fallout over record high bills, Kreider says the company wants to be transparent about what's to come in January of next year. For electricity, SDG&E customers can expect to pay an average of $28 more per month, with delivery forecasted to increase by $15 and generation $13. For gas, it will be at least another $6 more a month. Total estimated increase, $34 every month, or about $400 a year. That's something a lot of people can't afford. So what do you say to someone that says, hey, this is not fair. We already pay so much. Why do we have to pay more? We recognize, you know, especially for working families who are dealing with higher rent, higher water costs, higher food costs, that, you know, there's no good time for a rate increase or, or, or higher bills. Um, but while we're talking to customers so early this year, we want to make sure that they're taking advantage of the programs and services that we have in place to help, be able to help them. Among them, a 35% discount for low-income customers, payment plans, as well as $100 million in state and federal funding sdg &E has secured to help those who are behind on their bills. As for why rates are increasing, Kreider says the biggest contributing factor is the price of natural gas. Natural gas really globally is at uh, really decades high. And uh, what that is impacting is both on the, uh, the cost of natural gas to use for cooking or water heating, but it also impacts the cost of electricity. Kreider says wildfire mitigation projects and modernizing the grid also play a role. I asked him if all that work is really necessary. Some people feel as though you're overspending and those costs are being put on their bills. It's not about investment uh, in infrastructure uh, just, just to do it. Uh, it's really in response to uh, very dramatic uh, policy changes that we've seen here in the state of California. The California Public Utilities Commission still has to formally approve the rate hike, which is expected to happen in December. Bottom line, people are mad. What can you say today to our viewers to make them confident in your messaging? They are getting a utility that is clean, that is reliable, and that is ultimately safe. Working for you, I'm Shannon Handy, CBS 8.